Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. What I'm, what I'm guessing is the final episode. We'll see how this goes, but that's the plan. It all depends on how it ends, because an event popped up between last episode and this one. Oath Knight and Grandma have come together and are now lovers. So I was hoping that we could get, you know, finish the episode here in our new wedding chapel, which has a dirty spot right there. Who can go clean that? Gnarly, what you doing? When you're done watching TV, go clean it up for me. Thank you. Anyway, um, also, oh, a day or two back of game day since last episode. I ran it for a couple of days since then, trying to get things done and trying to come to a conclusion when that message popped up. So some point in there, Tomislav is now going to be able to do the next surgery with the um, chance of failure ten times smaller. Should we happen to come across a a merchant that has something exciting bionic to sell to us? We haven't seen much in the way of that this entire series, so probably not. But I had to pause it because right in the middle of all of that excitement and getting all this done and a few other things I've got queued up here and there, our two artists decided to have a little artist tiff. Billy and Cyprian are arguing over materials and whose statue is the best, and I think Billy's telling Cyprian to stop making statues of him making statues of Cyprian making statues of the Boomalope exploding their statues. So they're, they're just, they've been going at it here, and I thought I would uh, stop and, and start this recording at that point. And then I'm kicking around the idea of just recording nonstop until the wedding. I don't know if that's possible or not, that might be, you know, in the next 20, 30 minutes. It might be in the next four or five hours. I don't really know. So it's possible that we may have a very long final episode or a part B or part C of the final episode. Don't, don't know. But Billy struck Cyprian in the left leg because uh, Cyprian insulted Billy. Aha, uh -huh. drove Billy into a rage and began a fight. And Cyprian smashed Billy in the torso. Cyprian bashed Billy, in, injuring his torso while grimacing. Billy floundered while trying to smash Cyprian with his strong head. Cyprian smashed Billy with his left fist, and Billy hit Cyprian with a smash with his left fist, lacerating his torso and rib while smirking. Billy, uh, Cyprian slammed Billy in the f in the left foot while laughing, and Billy smashed Cyprian. That's the no. That's a, that's a different one. In, with his left fist again, bashing his right leg this time and right femur in an explosion of gore, and then Billy bashed Cyprian in the torso ruthlessly, and Billy bash Cyprian bashed Billy in the right leg while wearing a savage look, and they're done. How bad was? It? Oh, they've got. They've got uh, plasteel clubs. Great. That probably did lots of damage. Though it doesn't say. It always says with fists, right? Left fist. So they don't actually use their weapons against each other. That's a good thing. Is these things are dangerous. Um, health. Cyprian. He's got a bruise, a bruise, a crack, a crack, a bruise, a bruise, a crack, a crack. And Billy. Not so bad. Bruise, 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 crack, bruise, bruise. So he's going to get out of this a lot sooner. But he's still six down on that one. Eight down on that one. Yeah, they hit each other pretty good. Cyprian, how bad off are you? You're down by seven there. Um, down by four there. Heart blockage is still there. Heart is 20 out of 20, though, and efficiency is 90%. So you're still doing pretty good. Um, down by two there, and this one is down by four. Okay, go get treated. We'll send a doctor, and that means that's the end of the... Uh, end of the of the sculpture building for a while um while they were doing all their stuffs here i was busy trying to get the last of this done i think it came out pretty good we'll talk about this in a little bit and and exploring some other things and made an interesting discovery over here <laughs> so I, uh, see stars you be careful now there's 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 craziness over there in fact i want to watch that you're not going to tap through anything are you i hope not a couple more taps but meanwhile while i was busy getting distracted by all kinds of other things trying to bring freedom's drift into a into a landing for a final episode i didn't realize that they had made up enough meals to where they didn't need to make anymore so they were just 
doing nothing but butchering and butchering all those elephants each elephant has got uh, right there meat 360 meat there was meat in the aisles there was meat all over here it was spilling outside there was meat all over the place there wasn't room to put it there's there's um, vegetables rotting out in the fields because the meat was taking up every bit of space and I I had to quickly put in an order to make me 3,000 kibble and store it down over here just to get the meat used up so, <laughs> wow unchecked these guys just go crazy apparently Michael was on a shooting frenzy at one point um, so we need to come up with a bedroom for the potential marriage of Grandma and Oath Knight. And I know that Grandma likes blue, and Oath Knight likes blue, so that helps, and Oath Knight likes marble everything. So we'll put Grandma's statues and Oath Knight statues and in a blue room with marble furniture, and it'll be exciting. So we'll get that one going too. Um, now watch, I'll explain all the things that are going to happen, and then they'll just get married right now, and it'll all be done. Uh-huh. I found out why I couldn't get anything good over here to display. It's because every time you display one of these things, and it has, happens to be weapons, you've got to choose either smeltable or non-smeltable, or both, just to make sure you get everything. So, because some of the weapons you can smelt and destroy and turn back into metal, should you not want the silver for it to sell it later. So, unless you check those every time, you don't get anything in your storage. Um... I queued up some random carpets down in here to show you how these came out. And I kind of like the square pattern here. It's working out pretty good. Let's try different color combinations. And I think this is going to be marble flagstone around this one to see what that's like. But let's get a room. Actually, this is the one that would have been the best. Let's make this one their room. Um, first of all, Sea Stars, how did you do over here? That was over here. You only want one and you want to have to get a meal. Okay. That made that easy. I queued up some wood to be cut down, so bring that in. Um, anything else that I did to report other than our huge <laughs> elephant slaughter out here? There is blood everywhere. <laughs> oh, we need rain. <laughs> I did queue up um, sandbags down the length of all of our conduits to protect them from being attacked or from explosions or things like that, which we got a lot of damage over here that last time when when uh, a rabbit took a, a missile to the head from the uh, caterpillars. And so kind of like we did up here, I put uh, sandbags over the top of this run. So that'll be something for them to do. And I actually got to the point to where there was nothing else to build in between episodes, and they went over and started to deconstruct things. I'd never seen them do it before, so I was, I'm used to queuing up all kinds of stuff ahead of time, so I never get to see them work naturally on, on deconstructing things. Anyway, let's use this room as the temporary kibble storage instead. We'll just do something like that, and you copy, you uh, paste, and you can go away. And all the dogs are going to get busy doing this stuff. Um, we got all of the marble floors in to the whole upper half up here. So I went ahead and set these for just smoothing. Because we're really kind of running out of stone. So we'll, give, uh, we'll see if we get everything done to the point of, of seeing them smooth all on their own. I did get a lot of smoothing done up in here. But I had to force them to do it. Got the pathways in and out of the freezers and up through here all smoothed out and ready to go. Gave up on the on the pathways over here because I think the run speed is the same for smoothed as for stone so it was easier just to do the stone um, what is that noise that's carpeting okay but that looks pretty good too stone in the middle of that marble Ooh, okay let's think about that kind of a thing let's put blue around the perimeter for that bedroom hmm if we go too wide you think about that in blue and let's see just debating that right now let's pause for a second because they tend to want to build it lately as about as fast as I put them out here I'm thinking blue and, and marble so the marble furniture is going to be on the outside 
Let's put marble flagstone in the middle and marble furniture in the outside so we'll get the sense of the contrast underneath the, with the blue underneath it. I think that's worth trying. Tomislav, you are, you must be on hauling duty. You must be. Okay, well, ah, you guys will get it done even faster. How much can the dogs haul at once? They are picking up 12 at a time, whereas Tomislav is carrying 75 at a time. That will get it done a lot faster. All right, we'll let, we'll let him help. Um, but Oath Knight and Grandma, I guess, had spent so much time cooking together that it finally tipped the numbers in their favor. Though, now that all the cooking's done, Oath Knight's been over here doing his research. Um, so, that's that. Let's, let's let the carpet... Well, I hesitate. I was going to say, let's let the carpeting build first. I guess if I specifically assign them, because I have no idea when this wedding is going to be. We are at 1900, so David is up for the night, and he's ready to go. Let's have you bring what you need to do the marble. And Gnarly is a night builder. He's grabbing a meal, so when you're done, you work on the carpeting here, and then the carpeting over there. Oops, that didn't work. Where are you at? I let go of the shift. Let's tell you once again to... you got to get through that door. Now come on over here and consume a meal. Okay, one more time. Where are we? Over here. You're going to do this carpeting and then that carpeting. I should hopefully bring a bunch there and a bunch there. And who else is still up that can construct and doesn't need joy? And you're a little low there. Klaus is already asleep. Kaya is a little low on joy. Uh, radar is okay. Consuming a fine meal. Sure, you come over and do that area when you're done with your meal. And Vliss, your joy is fine. You're consuming a fine meal, so you do this area when you're done. Between those four corners, we should bring enough uh, cotton over to, to get all that laid out. Okay, so Eric, you're doing what? You are filling in the perimeter over here. Okay, you tore out all the carpeting that I put in. Trying to come up with a, another interesting contrast. I kind of like that look. I do. Though well, it seems like the bed should be over here now. Whose is this? That's nobody's. Okay. Let's reinstall you right there. More toward the more toward the, the center square there. Okay, so David brought his stuff over. Gnarly's bringing some over. Filling in this whole corner. Good. He's going to get some more. Handy's bringing some over. I'm going to get this out. Wiped out real quick. Minor break risk of Faith. And Handy's out of there. Faith, what's up? You're getting your meal, so your break risk is going to go away. Okay. And here comes Radar to grab some... I have lots of cotton still. Though... I thought he would have... Oh, he's already kind of done that. Can you... Gnarly's bringing that. Can you bring... Fliss is bringing that. Can you bring... Gnarly's bringing that. <laughs> <laughs> and marble flagstone. Nobody's bringing that one. Oh, it's already there. Okay, then I guess everything's brought. That corner, yep. Okay, we're good. You guys bring it all, and we'll lay out the furniture through the night. Um, did anybody take care of you guys? Health, yes. So, Cyprian's been hat patched up, and so is Billy. Good. Um, otherwise, we've got statues to read... We've got an ancient wonder, apparently, sitting in here. Somewhere in this space. And what's in there, I don't know. How we're going to deal with it, I don't know. Maybe we want to clear out the area in front of it. I'd say so. Let's... Orders. Let's clean out... Like that. And what is squeaking over here? That rabbit... Is marked... For hunt. So is a squirrel. Need to get somebody out there hunting. Just for fun. Not that we need any meat, but it's kind of fun to hear the pew, pew in the background while while we're playing. That echo of a gunshot off in the distance. Kind of a haunting noise. Andy, where you going? Why? Oh, you need to work on that one and you can't seem to do it from the inside. Okay. <laughs> so you're over here now. You guys are done? Almost. Um Handy. Well, this is still on his way, apparently. Okay. We'll 
let him do his thing. There he is. And Diamond, you are resting. Um, okay, everything here looks spot on. No dirts. Okay. So Bliss is bringing that over, and he's out of there. So we'll see if Gnarly or David finishes it up. They're the night crew. They're the night maintenance crew. David is hauling cloth to blue carpet. So you're, yep, you're already queued up to dive over here and get finished. Okay, then with that, um, let's let them finish this. Let's read some statues. What do we got here? Cyprian's back. He's going to finish his no matter what. <laughs> and yes, it's going to be a statue of him making a statue of him making a statue. This one is made by Billy. Art. Beauty of 350, large granite, called Gray Solidarity. This sculpture represents gnats playing dice. Not dogs playing poker, but gnats playing dice. The work is shaded in hues of purple and white. If you squint your eyes, the very static composition of the image reveals the outline of an ant. Cool. Next, we've got Cyprian's. 675 beauty. I don't think I've seen anything more than that. It's a masterwork. Large. Marble. Still number 19. This sculpture illustrates a newt in the necktie of a fortune teller. <laughs> That's a new one. The scene seems to take place on the outskirts of a rest stop. The style is expressionistic with neoclassical, neoclassical elements. And we've got by Billy, Wisdom number 47, Beauty of 270. On this work is a depiction of a tortoise being crippled by radar with quick, efficient movements. Radar looks triumphant. The overall composition is very dynamic. If you squint your eyes, the very static composition of the image reveals the outline of a wombat. This portrayal refers to the incapacitating of the tortoise with an assault rifle. On the 15th of August, 5504. Billy's done. He says, you're not going to get ahead of me. I'm over here. I'm going to finish mine first. <laughs> get out of my way. <laughs> uh, we've got a Billy statue. You are a beauty of 200. Called, made of marble called the De Devotion with Wild Boar. On this carving is an image of a wild boar holding her infant a wild boar while who is glowing softly gray. A farmer watches from a distance. The lower part of the image is dominated by a mountain while the image is totally devoid of both hugs and void. This artwork tells the story of a wild boar giving birth to a wild boar. 12th December 5503. That was a while back. Almost a year ago. We've got a Cyprian sculpture. Beauty of 200. Marble. Large. Good called Grey God. On this piece is an image of a Labrador Retriever holding her newborn, a Labrador Retriever who is looking around with an expression of serenity. This scene takes place inside of a newly built city. A pigeon in the background seems to symbolize terror. <laughs> the scary pigeons. The work suggests the concept of challenge. This illustration tells the story of the Labrador Retriever giving birth to the Labrador Retriever 14th of Jugus 5504. And lastly, we have uh, by Cyprian, Beauty of 200 Marble, Oath Knight with Black. On this work is an artwork of a neighborly old man wearing an evening gown. <laughs> okay. The image somehow expresses both bloodshed and power. A hornet behind the focal point seems to symbolize God. Both night with black. So we had one radar statue. Radar, how's your room looking? Radar, you didn't want a good looking room, so you have no statues because you are ascetic. Mm hmm. Which means you don't want it to look too good. You would put in a poor mood if your bedroom is too impressive. So, he also dislikes fancy food, prefers to eat raw food. Hmm. Um, so where do we toss some of these? How are we doing in these rooms? Six, five, three. Catherine needs something. Two, Miss B needs something. Six, eleven. Whoa, rabbits have been hoarding them there. And six and eight and six, five, 
one. Nobody in this room. Gnarly is a two. So Gnarly and Cathra so far. Uh, right there. Let's grab... Um, where am I at? Workshop. There you are. Let's grab this one. Gnarly was the worst. Let's give him the... Well, the 675. That should be out there on display for everyone to see. Where would that go? What uh, completes the symmetry here? I guess we could get something kind of over... I guess right in here could kind of work. Kind of did a circle with them around each of the sitting areas. Let's do that right in there, inside that column. You install there. So that's that one. Um, the next best one, beauty-wise, was 200, 200, 2, 270, 350. Let's put a couple of 200s in um, in Gnarly's room. Is that enough? It's not. We'll put the 350 and a 200 in there. So you install. You're down in this area. Let's drop one right in that corner. And then let's grab that guy, that guy. 270, 200, install. Right next to the chair. And we'll put the 270 in Cathro's. What was that? Rabbit has gotten food poisoning from berries. They're eating out in the field again. And... Bill Complete made club. Oh, I did keep some more plasteel clubs over here. Natalia has been working on it. Okay. She cleaned up all of the mechs. Left a big pile of stuff here until I realized we didn't have room for more. So that's why they were all piled up. Um, and these... We've got a lot of components now, so we're good on components. Um, and it's daytime, and I still haven't built this room. Uh, I wanted the 270 installed in Cathra's room, which is right here. We'll drop it into that space. And then we've got a 200 and a 200. So let's look through here again real quick. The Oath Knight statue. Oath Knight is 5.8, and he's we're all moving his room anyway. So this group, we've got an 8 five radar is a negative 0.3 just what he likes um unowned that was billy's old room uh 10 over here for daniel and diamond is a six so those are all good numbers we're 6.2 over there so this group up at the top here seven five ten seven five and six and george is a 12. okay so I guess we're kind of done with the bedrooms. I wanted at least five in each one. I think I got there, right? There weren't any fours left over here. Five, six. That one is... Oh, Miss P. I forgot Miss P. So, Miss P, you're going to get this one. Oh, big pause. Crash. Nope. Whew. Install you in Miss P's room. Right there. And was there still one more unclaimed? Right there. Let's put two of those in here. That should get her back up to the five or six range. Install um, right there. Okay, so that takes care of the beauty rating in, or the yeah, beauty rating is what we're looking at. Now that it's different from the wealth or the impressiveness or what have you. What's wealth over here? Wealth of twenty six hundred. No nice room because of all of the of the uh, marble. So he has a very impressive bedroom. Uh, 94 versus Manuela's of 114 versus Klaus's of 106. So Manuela still has the most impressive one, which she needs because she's jealous of everyone. Um, I want to turn that off. I need to get somebody to start delivering these things, but they're doing it already on their own. Yep, look at that. I bet you they've already built... Yep, they built all the... Wow. <laughs> when you get toward the end of of, uh, of your construction projects being queued up, it's amazing how quick things get done. Get that built, then I'll take all this this maze of a conduit out over here. So, yeah, those are all done. All right, then let's get a bedroom planned out before this marriage pops in on us. Um, I want, and we still haven't had a raid for a while, so we may have to deal with something like that in between. We'll see. Architect Furniture, let's go for a nice... Now, Royal Bed requires gold, right? 
50 gold plus something. We don't... What, what do we have in stock for gold? We have 486. Oh, okay. Sure, I guess we can do that. So a marble and gold royal bed. And I feel like that should be right in the center right there. No, I want, I want nightstands around it. Um, let's go right there. And you... Well, I don't think we're going to do it all in marble, though. We'll do just the certain pieces in marble. Well, let's put wooden nightstands alongside of us so we get some contrast. So let's rebuild you and you. And then a dresser hmm, and the shelf. A marble shelf. Let's do that. And kind of right across, but not exactly. Get a little little balance in there. And let's see. Let's put in a nice table. In the corner, you need to go away. Uninstall. Uninstall. Klaus, when you're done, you're going to pop that and pop that. That way I can start laying these things out properly. All right, a table and chairs, and I think it's in this corner. And I think we need a second light around here, too. Let's do the table and chairs first. So that's marble, that's marble. And I'd say marble in this corner, and everything else will be nice wood contrast to it. So a small table like so. Off-center just a little bit. Dining chair. Can't make it too fancy. Got to worry about... about uh, um, right here, Manuela, getting a, a little bit of a jealousy issue with the competing bedrooms here, but we'll do that. I need a nice dresser. That's going to be wood. So, right over here, dresser. There you are. Wooden dresser right in the middle. And then, what else? Now, the problem with this is, even though it makes the room look nice to have more furniture, people are going to come through here while they're sleeping to have a meal. So, you got to Gotta think about that. That might take the chairs away. Just have a, uh, you know, the wooden or the, the the marble table in there, but we'll see. Um, these are nice bonuses, but that's gonna push us up as far as the, uh, the impressiveness, more so than Manuela's. So I think I'm not gonna put those in, but let's definitely put in some some uh, flower pots in the corners. Okay, let's grab some artwork. We need this one reinstalled next to the table. This one reinstalled uh, right up in there. One, two, yeah. And Grandma's room. This one reinstalled. That one. Where to? Where do you? That is a shelf. So, right next to the shelf. And, yeah, let's go ahead and grab the chairs from those rooms. We'll do that. Oh, we're waking them all up to go grab the stuff. We'll see how good a mood they're in after this is done. Uh, reinstall both knights' chair right there. And reinstall grandma's chair. Um, both knights, how much more sleep do you need? A bit more. Hmm. That's right, we had a party in between the episodes, too. I was going to have that one shown, too, in this episode, but I wanted to get some time in between last one and this one to see if I can get a little bit closer to that, that marriage. Hopefully it happens. Uh, this one, that's where I was. Reinstall you at where... I'd say there. That's a nice balance in there. Another light now. It's feeling kind of dark in there. Um, like so. I feel like I want to swap things around a bit, but that'll work for now. We'll get that going. This never connected. Oh, because we're attaching in that way. Oh. Can I reconnect to anything? I can. It made it. Okay, good. 
So this one is going to need to be snagged over to there too because we've got no power over here. So with that, that's a pretty good layout. I don't know that I like this though. I'm going to do something here. Let's put blue there and there. Is that right? Or do we want that symmetrical with the bed? What if we did that and cancel these two? And where'd my stones go? Who took that away so quick? Did they? They didn't break that up already, did they? Interesting. Anything else? We've got to uninstall, but. Huh. Well, go back to stone. Right there. And let's see what it looks like if this is. Not center with the room, but center with the bed. Maybe that'll be better. I'm not sure. But I just looked up at this long, tr skinny triangle in the middle. We're smoothing. Will you look at that? Wow. They are so bored. They came over there with their, with their uh, hammers and chisels and, and sandpaper. <laughs> okay, we're going to blue there. We're going to marble there. And we'll see how that comes out. So, Boomalub has given birth. Otherwise, in other news, um, you guys all need your basic training. And over here, wild boars, none. Sangria, none. Over here, another one. And Boomalo Calf. Train you, you're in the boom up area. We've got two calves that have been born. Train you guys, make sure that you're in the main pasture. And, oh, these just all popped in. Huh, oh, that was these I just did, okay. So there's lots of training to do. And turkeys, uh, we'll leave them alone. we got plenty of kibble. So, how are the meals doing? I queued up so many extras to get rid of that meat. Looks like we've got room to handle it. Just enough room to handle it. Don't want to get too many stacks of two and three and wipe out our space, but there's nothing sitting out here, so we're, we're keeping up with it. And kibble, looks like it's, well, most of it's been moved out of here. Strange how they're storing some right there and not in the rest. I think we can handle the rest of the meat now, so let's go ahead and turn the butchering back on and give it one more cook something to do get the last of these animals butchered um actually if i man yeah, we'll see if i don't then that gives more room for vegetables to come in all right let's go ahead and suspend that a little bit longer okay yeah we need to get more of these things into the freezer before winter hits which is soon it's 5th of september so 5th of autumn when we get to the 7th we're at the end of our 30-day growing season it must be nighttime. So, is there going to be anything for the constructors to do once they're done with all this? This is waiting for what? I bet you we're out of marble blocks. That must be it. So let's turn this back on. Bills, let's unsuspend that one, unsuspend that one. And for that matter, we'll do any stone blocks as well. And just get that done. Out of a thousand... Out of 89, I see I did just random things in there to get them to make what I needed. So I needed just a few more of this and a few more of that to get all of this done. So, got enough seating in there for everybody. And nice little marriage uh, chapel, wedding chapel. Got a couple of dis rooms displaying our most impressive weapons and our, our artwork. And a nice uh, flowered pathway to get into here. And I think that came out pretty good. This is roses out on the edges and what are these called? Daffodils, daylilies all through the middle. Power wise, we're pretty much sealed off. Let's get that turned off or topped off. So get that turned off. Um, so anybody, Billy, do me a favor and flick that switch for me so that Miss Pete doesn't have to do it from the very furthest away. I did put carpeting in here instead of the, I see I missed one, instead of the random uh, smooth floors that were underneath and then highlighted uh, next to each of the, the benches, make it look a little brighter. And I see I missed that spot and that spot. So let's put white carpeting 
there and there. Okay, we've struck compacted steel out over here. So they're still doing a little exploratory mining. We've got more over here. What are you? Compact machinery. Okay, so let's mine out a square there. Let's take out something like that there. We'll see what's left over. So we've got a building forming, but they haven't got back to that. Okay, anything up in here? I didn't get up this far. I did do some randomness over here, but yeah, they're done with all this too. We found good steel in there. Yeah, it looks like we're kind of done all through this area. Got out of it what we could. There's still gold over here. They never get this far. If they ever make it into this pathway, let's uh, connect the dots. Maybe they'll do it that way. Otherwise, what's next? We are full of kibble. Boy, we're full. Do we... Oh, that's why it's over here still. Ah. Okay, well, let's just throw a few more squares into there. Zones, stockpile, right there and right there. Okay, so that empties out the freezer completely and someone just left their work and went to bed um let's take meat out of this one storage meat raw foods meat no meat in here so these will move up into there and we'll get more vegetables in this one and can we get away with no meat over in here you can probably get away with it not here. So storage, take the meat off of this one. And take the meat off of this one. I was throwing it anywhere that I could just to get the meat into some kind of refrigeration. Sitting out here for three days, it goes bad, so I had to move it. It was just overflowing everywhere. Thankfully, we have 2,000 pigs to do all the transporting. Did this go in? I bet you it did. It did. Okay, let's deconstruct. Ah, uh, that won't work. What is the noise? Dry thunderstorm coming up. Ooh. There and two clicks and deconstruct. Okay, that'll clean that up. Um, anything else to clean up? I knew they were getting done with their construction when I found them out here filling in voids all by themselves, getting the walls rebuilt. I'm not getting the sense of any booms. That dry thunderstorm hasn't hit yet. It's just threatening. Do have these guys to go and get. There's something to do if we don't get a an exciting raid or something while we're uh, uh, waiting for the wedding. Assuming we're going to get a wedding. Uh, it may wait for six months before we get it. We may just have to, to pass on that dream. I don't know any way to instigate it or force it. Where did that thunder come from? Where, oh, over here. That means rain's going to come soon, which means all of our bloodbath is going to get cleaned up and washed away. Hmm. Well, we'll let the lightning strike for a while. And yeah, we're six in the morning. Everybody's getting up. Do I send them out to put out fires? It's not like they're super busy right now. We have a fire up in there, though so far the fires are far enough away. Just debating what the next step is. Gotta make some more. Oh, the guns are in place. Yes, they are. So, copy. Oh, there's a big crash. Alright, what do we got? Fire's getting a little crazy up there. We have that one there. There's one. All right, let's go ahead and take care of this one. Eric's got it. Eric's got it. Okay. Otherwise, home zones. We're okay there. Yeah, I guess let's go ahead and send them out there. Let's do it. And let's send them out there. Okay. All right, we'll check up again in a moment. Um, Radar and Bliss, you guys quickly making blocks. Natalia is. She's popping out some marble. Good. Gnarly. 
you are hauling it away. Okay, or you're you're gonna build with it. Oh, I said EMPs back into the list of getting done. So there's a couple more that's been uh, worked on, and put, also put a bunch of uh, of armor vests into the queue so we can get ours replaced and some more clothes. So yeah, when you finally get all the construction done, you can actually start uh, uh, manufacturing goods for your colony again. It's kind of nice. Looking for more fire. Okay, well, they're fine there. How did we do with that? We cleaned up... Well, we still got a bunch of unfinished duster, pants, cowboy hat, and t-shirt. Let's pop in at least another two t-shirts. And another two cowboy hats. Cargo pods. Um, another two dusters, oh, third duster, and pants. Alright, see if we can get any of those used up. Um, are they by somebody that would not come back here? Bliss and Radar are the main ones. Bliss, Radar, okay. Where are the cargo pods? We've got them popping into the other map, which I may as well just turn off because we're not going back here. Oh well. So let them go and crash over there. There's a big old thunder. Auto save. The muffler are moving closer to us, which means it's probably time to go hunting. Just because it's easier. And I think they're they're kind of leaving the map. They've, they've moved quite a bit. Hmm. There's a pattern forming there. Uh, hold on, before you guys leave the area, let's go ahead and and do that. And you two can reset. You're already eating, and you're eating, so you'll think of something to do when, yeah, when you're done with that meal. You'll reprogram and say, uh-uh, I'm going after the potato plants. <laughs> Whoa, there was a good one. I heard a pig squeak. Oh, we got a pig on fire. Oh, we got lots of damage over here. Um, Cyprian, I need you to rescue Wild Boar 14. And Bruno's down. Who else is over here? Oh, man. Bad lightning strike. There's no, there's no peoples. Um, peoples, peoples. Anastasia, gnarly. Come over here and help Bruno. He's, he's on fire. Um... Natalia is going to do it. But where, how far away is she? She's all the way over there. No, 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 no. Gnarly. Where did you go? Right there. You come on over and work on Bruno. Rescue Bruno. This one needs to be rescued too. Who else is in the area? Over here. Uh, no people there. No people here. No people there. Nobody here. They're all out fighting fires. Wow, there's nobody around that can reach them. David, you're kind of in the area. You work on this one. Cathra, but she's nowhere nearby. I think we're going to lose. We lost a, a wild boar. Darn. But you can still help. Rescue Bruno. Go, go. Gnarly. No, you rescue this one. You give up too easy. Gnarly. Okay, dive up there. Oh, you rescued Cyprian. Or Cyprian rescued Bruno, okay. Gnarly's going after the pig, which is fully engulfed now. And you're putting out the other fires. Okay. Get that all cleaned up. Cyprian's cleaning. He wants to make sure it looks good. Natalia, let's make sure that you are not consuming berries. Why don't you come over here directly and tend to Bruno and you can have a good meal later. Um other people that know how to doctor work. Doctor Tomasov, George, Oath Knight, Natalia, where are you guys? Oath Knight, you're over here. Natalia, George is in the area. George, you're going to work on. Reserve by Natalia. We're going to work on Pig. Wild Boar. Okay, go and grab medicines. And. Two injured. The third one is. I think was there. I think he's gone. Yep, right there. So, somebody will haul Wild Boar 148 to the uh, 
Oh, we saw a dead body. Sea stars didn't like that. Somebody, Billy, can you? Uh, Wild Boar 79 is going to take care of it. Okay. Wherever Wild Boar 79 is running in from. Okay, other fires. How bad off are we? It is 11. It just turned to noon. And I think we just calmed down. No, still dry thunderstorming. But let's go ahead and do a quick hunt while it's still daytime and while everybody's still awake. So Tomislav needs. Let's go through this. That's a good um, amount of food and rest and mood. So draft you and send you... Hmm. Where's an auto door? No, yes. I'm going to send you here in case you guys have got to go in really fast. So Handy, you're in good shape. Repairing wind turbine. What's wrong with the wind turbine? Oh, did it take damage from the fire? Where was that? That was over here. Yep, you took damage. Okay. Um, next is... Rabbit, you are wearing an alpaca wool duster. Ah, you could do that later. Draft and come on out here. Um, wait a minute. Here? Let's go back. There. That's where we're going. Oh, you're already here. Okay, that's fine. And we've got Shantigo, not as good. Over here, Sangria's not bad. Sure, let's have you jump into that area. Who else we got? Kethra, you're in good shape. Pop over there. And Natalia's not. Michael is. Draft, head up to there. Nope. Kind of, kind of enough, and you're in this area. So you were hauling foods, but let's draft you and bring you up into here. And we've got Eric Golden Club. We've got David Plasteel Mace. Nope. Any more? That's pretty good. Kaya, you fit into here. Like so. Faith doesn't fight. Radar does, but he's starving. What are you doing? You're consuming elephant meat. No, 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 no. Get over here. Oh, Radar. You like raw vegetables. I don't think you can handle raw meat, though. Did it say raw foods or raw vegetables? Ascetic. He also dislikes fancy foods and prefers to eat raw. To eat raw. Any and raw food won't bother him a bit. Okay, in that case, radar, you are going to do that. But if I queue you up to do that, will you? Ow, we'll let you sit out of this. I could use the the marble blocks out of you anyway. Cyprian is not ranged. Bliss is, and is in good shape. So sure, draft. Come on up into this area. And only a few left here. Diamond, you're already up here anyway, so sure. Pop into there. And we got Daniel. Not the greatest moods. Sure. Wearing a muffalo leather duster. Normal 88 must be better than a poor 99. But you can deal with that later. Come on up here. You'll have fun shooting. Boom, boom, boom. Oath Knight, you are in bed and need it. And gnarly, you too. Okay. That is our run. You guys all pop up into here just in time. Billy has named Buffalo Night Nitro. <laughs> Where'd that one hit? Down. Ooh. Let's hit the mountain over here. Alright, so some are already in place. Let's go ahead and use the three of you to go up in here. And can you hit? You can. Alicia, go there. Four of you, hit there. Buffalo Revenge. Ooh, that's all of them. <laughs> okay. Here we go. How many? I see one, two, three, four, five at least. Are you... You are six, seven, eight, nine. They all are. Okay. Um. 
Alicia, all of you guys get into here. Kaya, you go for there. And Sangra specifically, you go there and there. Alicia specifically there and there. And Diamond specifically there to there. And Kathra, you are going here. You're going to pop in afterward. Who else is on their way and where are they at? We have that fire right there. I wanted to put the fires out because it was going to make it rain. And sometimes this game rains for four or five days in a row. I didn't want this entire episode to be gray, but... I guess that'll do. Okay, who's going to get in in time? You all are. Okay, so with that, Cathro, you're going to go there, but you're not going to jump out yet. These guys are going this way. Bliss, you pop into here. See what you can do. Good. You're going after Bliss now? You are. Do I go one more round? Cathro, I think I'm going to pull you back. Just because they may sense you and just keep beating until they get in. So if I pull you back... Let's send you out to this area as well. Rabbit, you stay there in case they do make it in. You can get off one shot. Bliss, with that, you're backing up. Back up. And you guys are kind of going here. Um, You're kind of going here and here now. Or something like that. Okay. Bill, you think... That you're going to go clean rock rubble. <laughs> Boy, won't you be surprised. Um, who else is roaming about? All willy-nilly and not uh, noticing things. I think this one will leave before Bill gets there. Let's. Yep, I think we'll be fine. Thump, thump, thump. They're, they're going to trash that door. 81%. Bliss. Let's give him some distance. And there, pop in. In case they return. Okay, you're going to go down before. You're not. Kaya, drop in. Rabbit. Uh, Handy, no. Go back, go back. Handy, Handy, go back, go back. No, 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 no. Handy got thumped. And Diamond's still in the doorway. Diamond, time for you to go back. Handy, what happened to you? I didn't see you there. You got a bruise crack, bruise, bruise. You're in fine shape, except it took out both your legs. So your run speed now is only a two and a half. Let's just put you over here for the moment. All right, what's happening over here? Bliss has taken them out. Billy's done his thing, or Bill's done his thing, and he's leaving. Bliss, you need to back up again. In fact, let's go into that space so you're a whole room away from them, so they'll turn around and leave. All right, so... You are going after Diamond with all that you've got. And you, she got away. Okay. We're going after this one. Um, you two will pop into there right afterward. Rabbit. Where to? Where to? I wish I had another door in here somewhere. Let's put both of you into here and into here. I'm hearing fire nearby. I am. There's a burning rabbit. Uh, not much I can do with that right now. That's actually getting quite involved. Muffle of Revenge and get rid of that. And we've got a fire forming down over here. Let's go take care of that one. Somebody will get it. And I can't do anything with that one yet. And I don't dare go over there. Okay. But we will soon. We're done with this here pretty quick. Okay. We're done here. We've got this guy. Raging going in. And... Gotcha. Okay. You're going to bang on that one for a while. You guys have left here. Um, let's go out and say hello. Rabbit, you're going there. Handy, you're in there. Handy, go in the doorway. Okay. And you've popped out of there. Diamond, go back into there. Good. Nope, you can't reach. Go ahead and pop back out. He's going to come at you before you can do anything. All right, so these are all down. These guys are coming back. Rabbit, pop out in front of them. The three of you take that down. Take her down. All right, you're done. You guys, go to here, just for fun. Yeah, I think so. 
And we're good there. Diamond, you go there. And Kaya, you go there. I think we can do that. Or not. These guys are going to shoot you, aren't they? Okay, go back down. <laughs> Handy's in place here, ready to get thumped again. Yeah, that wasn't the best plan, was it? All right, you guys go back and wait just a little bit. All right, so you're doing that. Um, I think we can go ahead and put these out. I think so. In fact, you know what? Let's open this door. And Rabbit, you're going to go there, and then you're going to go there. And you guys are going to go there. And um, you guys are going to shoot them. Uh, we're only one wide in here. That's not going to work. All right. The four of you are all going to go into here just for fun. Are we down to just one? Down to two. And Rabbit, come on back over to here now. Back, stop that plan. And restart and come over here. Okay. Perfect. Uh, Klaus, um, can they go through a doorway? I wonder. Klaus, come on down over to here. Draft, come over here. They seem to want to take that door out still. Ah, there we go. Okay, so all of you guys, give me a pattern like like that. Pop into there. Okay, door is open. Last two are going to go in, and everything else is fine. Okay, so who can I set up just for hunting? And we'll take care of the other muffalo that way. Um, hunt, who would be good for that? We're kind of done with the construction, so let's set Klaus for hunting. Rabbit Tomislav, he's been doing good hauling. Um, Oath Knight, sure. Though, actually, that'd be fun, but let's have you instead continue cooking so you can be near Grandma more so that maybe the two of you can rack up some more points or something and get this marriage happening. So, yeah, Oath Knight, you're grounded. <laughs> Michael, you're good for... Hunt. That's cook. Hunt right there. Michael, sure. Let's get you out there when there's no cooking to do. Um, Andy, Vliss, Kaya. Um, okay, Vliss, I want more blocks made. Diamond, no. Daniel, I like the hauling. Shantigo, you're fine where you are. Gnarly would be hunting at night. No good. Alicia? Yeah, you could do that. And Radar, I want the... Let's see, Vliss, I want the blocks, but you do get a double passion for it. We'll do that. Natalia, you're nighttime. Kathra, who else gets a passion? Grandma does. Nope, you two are grounded for uh, to cook. Okay, so that takes care of that. Let's set all of these guys that are downed to hunt. And then we'll see what happens with this very last one. And you guys never got any action, did you? Come on over here and take out some of the uh, of the ibex. And I'll send the other ones in there to finish that. All right, do it, do it. Oh, that was quick. Oh, oh, we kind of picked a bad pathway, didn't we? You guys come down. Yeah, come down here. Just time out. Come on into here. We'll. we'll We'll time that a little better next time. There we are. All right, all of you guys, come on over here. Um, here. And whoever that one is, we'll move to another spot. And we're supposed to be putting this fire out, aren't we? Expand home zone. That didn't work. That'll make for interesting timing. Hey, Shantigo, <laughs> you wanna put out fires while we're shooting animals? Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Um, <laughs> who is the one that's going to get over here? That's Handy. Handy, let's have you go put out fires. And
and you guys, let's just put out this animal first. Okay. Eclipse, of course. Hunt that one. Okay, let Manuela run through. There's the Eclipse. And they're running away. Okay. The rest of them all went and scattered. All right, you guys come out over here. Putting out fires in the dark. Cathra, you're part of that? You are. I gotta let you guys break soon to, to uh, the rest of you guys hunt to uh, get meals and stuff. But Sangria, you can go here and this whole group take out and that was a turkey revenge. And I think we're running out of time here for our hunt. Right in there. Actually, we're running out of space in the freezer. There is that to think about. We are. We've got to turn off that butchering again. Well, we did. There's no more butchering. But we are running out of space because we took the meat out of these other places. Ah, but I do have room for one, two, three, four more. Um, I think we better call it done. It's going to be close. Yeah. So, you guys break and go take care of fires. We'll get that out real quick. Any other fires? Whoa. Well, there's still that one to deal with. And there's that one to deal with. Oh, I need you guys to eat. I need you guys to eat. How are we going to do this? So everybody else, I don't want you guys hunted. Well, not you. Cancel that. Cancel that. That's the last of the Ibex that got triggered, right? I believe so. Otherwise, all of these guys unforbid. And you're shooting through the fire zone. Did that not get into a fire zone? It didn't. Okay, we'll do that. And we'll go ahead and trigger all of that. And all of that. But I want to manually go through and force some of these folks to go get a meal. So food, let's let's do some food. Consume and run through. Let's zoom out so I can hopefully... Who is that? Sangria? Yeah, you're going to be up there for a while because you're just going to go from fire to fire. So you come down and grab a meal too. And decent. Michael needs something. You are already, so you won't. You'll you'll continue that command, I believe. Otherwise, Eric, wearing a double strand, and then you're going to eat. And then, if there's any fire left, then you can jump back out there again. Food for David. You're sleeping, so if I popped you, you're going to go beat out fire. So let's start with a meal. Grandma. Um, same thing over here. Grab a meal. And sea stars sleeping. Um, let's get you up. You're going to immediately go and put out fires and skip the meal completely on your own. Faith, eating out a fire and you're already up here. That's too bad because you're going to start starving here before long and... That's not going to go well for you. So come on back down. Do this first. We've got Manuela uh, harvesting. Let's send you directly down here. You're going to harvest, then you're going to go do the uh, the fire thing, and you're never going to get that meal. Bliss, you're in pretty rough shape. You really want those muffled leather pants, though. But let's do the meal. Uh, over here... And Billy, you're sleeping. You're going to be sleeping for a while, so you'll be fine. Who's that? George, you're beating out a fire, and you're going to be starving and cranky when you come back. So let's get you down here, too. And Daniel, you are wearing muffled leather duster. But, um, yeah, we'll let you. Let's just do this afterward. Okay. Next is Oath Knight, who's cooking a fine meal. And let's have you eat a fine meal first. Because you'll 
as soon as that's done, you'll get the command to go do that. Yeah, same thing with Arlie. All right, another roll call completed. Do that one first. And pop over to Tomislav, who is... Bonus needs treatment handy. Um, break risk of Daniel, we know about that. The shooting over here, putting out fires. You are taking out that rabbit, no matter what it takes. Hunting rabbits. And doing that one. Okay, so where are we going to put these animals? How are we going to deal with that? We're no longer butchering which is fine. We could kick the kibble number back up again. Let's make sure that kibble is unpaused all the way through, and it is. So our cooks, wild boar had a heart attack, jump to location. Over here, gnarly, can you do anything? You cannot. So wild boar, one, health. Heart attack, painful, 14 to 14. And don't know what more I can do until you get to an animal bed. And we can't rescue you, and by the time you get there, it'll be too late. You're trying. You've got a long river crossing before you get to a bed. Though you're in the wild boar zone, which includes beds that are right over here. So don't know what you're going to do. Have to see about that. But kibble over here. I hear food being made. Bills, kibble, let's, of 2,900, let's do until you have, and let's kick that up another notch. Another 500. And up in here, same thing. Details. Uh, you, details, and you. All right, so there's another, oh, another thousand kibble to make, which should clear some meat out of here, which should make room for a few more buffalo to drop in before three days goes by when they start to rot. And I'm an hour into this, and so far we still have no wedding. <laughs> we'll see. We may have two or three three-hour final episodes. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Um... Fire is still over here. Starting to put it out. 20 hundred. A lot of people not getting their joy right now and gonna have some crankiness. At least we won't have any food problems. Minor break risk of Bill, who's saying, I got my meal, but I still don't care. I'm angry and I'm cranky and I'm going to bed. So let's do just that. Um, structure, no, I want work. Bill. Let's, right there, turn off your firefight. Go clean ash. No, 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 no. Don't go, don't go clean ash. Can I just make you go do something fun? Apparently I can't. Um, Handy's being worked on. Can't make you joy. Moderate amount of pain. Ugly environment. Lacks a bionic body part. Don't have any bionic body parts. I mean, I could use that by giving you this one, but it's not bionic. It's simple. So I can't help you there. Um, Bill, right there. Health needs. So feeling bad in darkness. Eight without a table. Okay, well, let's just make you come over and get up good meal anyway. I'll just have to do that. Okay. Back over to here. Um, got one, two, three, four still needing to be hunted. Un unforbid. Or unforbid. Yeah, the turkey. Fire risk of Cathra, who is freaking out because you need a meal. Alright, so let's send you down here to grab a good meal. That'll get you out of the ugly environment and you probably just rest afterward. That's about the timing to knock that down into there. So Kaya, you're taking care of that straggler. Good. Otherwise, we're going to slowly work our way up the arch here. Diamond, don't get trapped. And we still have this burning over here. Yep, yeah, we need rain. 
I guess that's just what it comes down to. You have to have some rain come in. Clear and eclipse. Eclipse means me uh, means no sun, so we're not going to get any more solar. But everything else should be working just fine. I can't think of anything else that is sun dependent. No, I can't. We need some wind though, or we're going to have to tap this. No, this is reversed. Let's actually reverse this. Anybody in the area? Miss B, you want to go beat out a fire. You're you're not in great shape, but let's go ahead and flick this switch, and then flick this switch, and then go ahead and get yourself a meal, or you're going to be crashing on me up there. Okay, that's Miss P, and who else is moving up in that area? Billy, how you doing? You're dying on me. No, get over here and get a meal. All right, who else is going to go up there and have a... Have a uh, breakdown on me. Oath Knight, what you doing? You are healing while boar at one. Oh, good. You're taking care of the, the heart attack. Hopefully, now did the numbers change? While boar, four health. Heart attack, painful, 14 to 14 and 40%. At least pain is 40%. Consciousness is 50%. Heart attack, pain, 32%. I wish I could move over and look at those numbers. Um, anything I can do? If I were to go to here body size diet health can I click in this area for it heart attack so I don't get any more information okay consciousness manipulation pain severe nope no no extra information there stats if there's something there I'm not seeing it so I don't have any more information regarding the health Okay, I'm trying to figure out what the 32% means. I guess if we stare at a while, it's either counting down or counting up. Not sure, but Oath Knight's going to take care of it, and we'll be fine. Um, what else is going on? Shantigo, you're racing up there, and you're kind of okay. You need some sleep, but you'll be fine. Tomorrow we'll hunt the last of those animals. Otherwise, the crowd is finding out that the fire is burning outside of the zone. Yeah, I'm going to make these big enough to stay ahead of it. Otherwise, we can get rid of some other zones. There. That one. That one. That one. Get rid of all of that. 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 Kind of. Let's put the doors back in. Okay. And they're mostly done over in this one. Now... Clips break risks. Okay, we have a rabbit. We're stacking up here. Rabbit, Klaus, Catherine, Michael, Kaya. First one, rabbit. No. Turn that off. Where am I? There we go. Yeah, it is rabbit. Needs. You didn't get that meal. Get. Okay, you're done. Come on down over here and grab some food. And I think I saw a Klaus. You are off of Klaus. You, no more doing that. So, Klaus and Draft, go rest. In fact, who else is dying? Let's just go this route. Um, needs and moods. So over here, Rabbit, you are consuming a fine meal. And Shantigo is still okay for a while. Klaus is in trouble. Um, over here, that's Cathra. She's grabbing that meal. So that should repair her. Michael is beating out a fire. He needs to go grab a meal. He never did grab the meal that I asked for. He must have overridden it or something. Because I sent Michael down here. Let's have you grab out of that stack. Next, you're getting close and you're, you're taking care of it. We're fine here, mood-wise. Over here, Bill is going to be fine. Over here, Kaya. You... I think you just need to go rest. Ugly environment. Eight without a table. All kinds of horrors. <laughs> Kaya, you can do that. And right there, go rest. Okay. Rabbit Klaus, Catherine, Michael, Kaya. Yep, got all those. This one, we'll see how that goes. It looks like a lot of it gets really thinned out. We've lost this whole side over here, so... I think that's going to go pretty quickly. And nothing else that I missed, right? No other fires. 
We've got an eclipse and rain. Oh, the rain has begun. In that case, Dolores is pregnant. All right. Well, I could go through and try and cancel them all, but well, we'll just cancel on their own. They're all going to start running out of things to do here. Look at the pathing. The game is quickly trying to calculate all those paths and duties and jobs and where they're going to go now. And There's a lot that goes on under the hood in this game. There really is. We've got a, no meals. Everybody's going to bed. Everyone's had it. Yep, and the rain has begun. So have the gray days of autumn. End of our growing season. 40 degrees out. Ah, tomorrow is the great roofing day. Okay, build roof. Right there. EMP shells have been made. Okay, let's... No roof there. Huh wonder why that was important. EMP shells are here. Eight of them. Okay, that should handle most anything. Okay, let's roof here. Like so. There. We've got a fight. George started a fight with Diamond. Okay, that's done. Let's do that one. We'll finish the roofing. Um, that was an error, so let's just ignore roof in that area. That's all done. And over here, we can ignore that one now. This one, um, ignore that. And let's roof, build roof. There. What shapes that are not squares. Okay, I like that. That's all good. That's all good. This one needs something. So from there to there and there. That seals that up well. Um, we sealed this so we can keep the heat inside to heat up the, the areas. And once all the roofs are on, then we'll turn on the grow lights. So that is it for the growing areas. It is. Okay. Seal them up and let's go see what George is up to with. Yep. Cranky people. Cranky moods. There. Diamond there there they need rest and they're just yeah who did what george was insulted by diamond okay george struck diamond in the torso diamond attempted to use her right fist to slam george but was deceived by george's faint <laughs> diamond dodged george's smash diamond struck george with her sturdy right fist injuring his torso while laughing and George attempted to strike Diamond, but was deceived by Diamond's feint. And Diamond smashed George, bruising his right shoulder without emotion. George, without emotion. George tried to bash Diamond with his sturdy left fist, but was deceived by Diamond's feint. I'm getting a, a pattern here. And Diamond smashed George with her right fist, smashing his torso while wearing a blank look. George missed Diamond with a slam from his stout left fist. Diamond smashed George with her left fist, bruising his torso while wearing a blank look. And George clobbered Diamond in the torso. Jo Diamond slammed George with her powerful head, <laughs> injuring his left leg while wearing a ghost face look. And George bashed Diamond with his left fist, bashing her left leg while wearing a blank look. And Diamond smashed George with her powerful head again, smashing his neck while wearing a loyal look. George smashed Diamond with his head, clobbering her torso and spine while wearing a blank look, and Diamond smashed George, bashing his right arm in an explosion of gore. Diamond slammed... George slammed Diamond in the torso. Diamond struck George. It's been pretty even, one after the other, all the way through, with her right fist bruising his right arm with an explosion of gore. George. They must be pretty evenly matched. George slammed Diamond in the leg fiercely. Diamond hit George with a smash. Smashing left leg, left tibia while grimacing. How much longer can this go? One of them dropped. Diamond took down George. <laughs> George tried to use his right fist to slam Diamond but missed. Diamond struck George in the right leg heartlessly. A crack wound. 
cause George to drop. So, Diamond. Now we'll have Alicia rescue George. Diamond, you just make your way back in. And that's George's club. Unforbid. So, Radar, can you bring in George's club for him? Thank you. All right, Diamond, you're going to go grab your own meal before you eat, because otherwise nobody's going to feed you. You're going to do that, because everybody's going to be in bed after being up all day. Okay. Um, what else? Repairs. Actually, you know what? Gnarly, why don't you go do some hunting? Let's get these guys brought in. Uh, Gnarly, you're over here. Hunt is that one. Let's make that happen. Alright, go and um, let's do the animals that are actually wounded first. You passed away. You are dead. No, I guess all the animals that were wounded are no longer so. Okay then. We're shooting past the boom rat. In that case, go on back to what you were doing. They're done. They just need a place to in, the, in their freezer to haul them back in. So gnarly, you go back to construction. Thank you. All right, so that's all the animals out of their misery that needed it. I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Did you ever hit that tortoise? You did not. Okay. What you doing, sea stars? You're up here just in case that raid comes in. Raid that we're waiting for. Uh, no longer inspired for a shoot frenzy. <laughs> You're just not in the mood anymore, are you? <laughs> Handy's still sleeping off her injuries. You need some food. And two left, two left, and two left. Are you sleeping? You're not sleeping. So if I draft you and let you loose, you're going to grab your own meal. Okay, you'll be fine with that. We are still hooked up over here, right? Handy, right click. Yeah, we haven't got any kind of a, a merchant in a long, long time. Otherwise, everybody's in sleep or sleeping. They're probably going to be cranky from not getting a meal before they went to sleep. Bruno is no longer capable of walking. Where are you at? Oh, you're over here. You and George is no longer capable of walking. Um, Bruno, right there. Health. What happened to you? You got a burn scar on the left eye. Otherwise, you just have lots of burn wounds. Yeah. Okay. And we had a pig. Whatever happened to pig number one? You went into one of these spaces. Is that you? That is you. Health, no injuries. And your blood filtration is okay. You're back to normal. Well, Oath Knight, you did it. Good. Lots of kibble out there. Lots of kibble here. I was clicking on Tomislav. I was wondering about people that are dying of food. Of, of starvation are going to be your rest has got a long way to go that's going to hit zero before you get there let's just kind of glance through that uh, Shantigo you went to bed without eating, not wise and so did Klaus so I'm just going to kick you out of bed, Sangria you too go and deal with this rest, Alicia's going to bed, you got your meal good Eric did not. He's not going to make it. So you pop in here and deal with that. And David's going to eat without a table. And his mood's already low. Draft drop and haul that away. And then go eat wherever you haul it to. Next. Right there. Bill is almost done sleeping. He's fine. Sea Stars is consuming a packaged meal. And you'll do it at a table, so you should be okay. Lots of wild... Oh, tusks have nowhere to go but out over here. Interesting. I guess there was room. Yeah, there was room. That's fine. And it's at a, at a uh, trade beacon, so that's okay. Who is this now? That was Sea Stars. Cyprian's cleaning. 
Cyprian is cleaning. I did set you for cleaning. Let's get you back into building your statues. Although you did it over here. What happened? Sculpting table, bills, it's forever. Why are you not... There are no queued up projects. Like nobody's doing anything. Cyprian. Your first one is art. Why are you not arting? We're out of marble, and I set it all to marble. Is that what it was? But we... No, we're making limestone. Let's... What are we set to? What's the... What's going on here? Bills, you were set to do forever, and I said... Do all stone blocks. But we need like a hundred stone blocks to do something. That may be what's going on. Jade... I don't see jade. Where have I got jade stored? What's our quantity of jade? I would have put jade in here, I thought. I don't know. Or else it would have been right in here. We must not have any jade. I guess not. Um, gold 435, but it takes a thousand to make a statue. Large sculpture takes ten times five hundred. No, 130, so 1,350 if I use gold, times 10. Same with uranium, same with silver. So no point in trying any of those. Plasteel, 135, that's one statue, and all of our plasteel is gone. That's no good. So steel, we could go with steel. We do have quite a bit in stock right now. Our construction is mostly done. All right, we'll do that. And unfortunately, I can't copy and paste that. So we'll go ahead and just wood, steel, and that's all I did? Wood and steel? Yeah. Okay. You two clicks. Oops. That one. Okay. I'll get them working again. Otherwise, I was at Cyprian. Where are you at? Right there. And Handy's fully healed. Good. So anybody else that went to bed, Bliss, you're going to be starving before you're three quarters done there. You already got a negative eight stacked against you. Come on up and grab a meal. Who's that? Rest. You're still up. You're fine. And over here, George. Breakdown. Grand Autodor. George is in bed. Gnarly will feed him. Both knights doing it already. Okay. After that, we've got Daniel went to bed without a meal, and he's going to need it. So come up and empty off that stack. Five there, and Gnarly, you're fine. No, it's Oath Knight. Gnarly's fine. Okay, so how are our batteries doing? We're on this bank alone. We're on... Kind of not what I meant to do. No, well, I'll fix this later. Yeah, all right, that'll 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 be fine. Up in here, we're not relying on solar at all anyway. Okay. We could put in, use up that excess. Let's do that. Reconnect power here. The excess from this side is going to fill in this one. The danger of that is that I've now got eight batteries connected. So if we get a zit in this rainstorm, then all of them are going to go up. But who's in this area that can hit that button? Uh, Natalia is playing horseshoes. I'll leave her alone. And nobody else is up, right? Handy's over there. Sea Stars, you are playing horseshoes. I... You need it? You need it. If I tell you to do the switch, then you won't go back and reset for that. Repairing granite wall. Your knees are really low. Handy, all the joys are down from that fire. Um, Eric, you can do it. Actually, Handy, you're healed, which means you have the fastest run speed. So you pop over here and run over here and do this before Bill comes all the way up from wherever he was. All the way from the depths of the of the uh, the colony. Alright, why are we not cranking out um, kibble like crazy right now? Because we all went to bed. Oath Knight, you are using telescope. Um... How bad do you need it? 
let's get you in this area. If you're going to need it, then let's pop it until the line goes through to the TV. We'll get it done quicker, and you can start making kibble right there. All right, Klaus, you are hunting a hare. Get your set on hunt. We'll bring... Actually, that won't work anymore because we we don't have room in the in the freezer. Okay, forget the hunt. That one sets you for a three and three, three. Alicia and radar. All right, that's just not going to work. So Klaus, let's reset you. Where were you, Klaus? There you are. Okay, anybody else already out there hunting? These guys, there's Harvey bringing in a muffalo. And the other hunting would have been probably over here. So nope, nobody else is hunting. Okay, no point in doing that now when the freezer is that full. Nowhere to put them. One space. So we do need, after our, where's grandma? There you are cooking a fine meal. No, let's get you working on the kibble. That uses up the meat the fastest. We'll get some of these spaces cleared. Other cooks. Chantigo, not there. You went back to bed. Okay, needs. Yeah. So, other cooks. George is a cook. He's in the hospital. He get fed? He did. And, oh boy. Yeah, they, they beat each other up really good. You're down 13 on that one. Woo! Down 9 on that one. And we've got Diamond over here. Not as bad, but you got to you got healed a little bit sooner. Still down 7 over there. Uh, rib, 5. You'll be done sooner than George. Eclipse. We did that one. That was a minor break. Oh, Eclipse is ending. Ah, okay, good. So we've got minor break of Michael, who is going to go play horseshoes like crazy. How bad do you need it? You do, so I can cycle you, and it'll let me. Yeah, let's see if we can get a TV out of that. I used to watch this, waiting for the word television. Whenever I click the first time, it's watching for targets. And I think, you know, watching for T, TV, television, and it was hard to keep track of that. I realized I could just watch the line. And then it's so much easier to figure out where he's going. So that works. Eric is saying hi to Daniel and is resting. Eric is day chef, but they're all messed up from spending the night putting out fires. Ah, okay. How are the rooms? Cleanliness wise. Because Diamond was busy putting out fires too. You are still a bed waiting for marble blocks. 84 so far. So we've got block cutting going on. We do not because we're working on this stuff. Bliss, how you doing? You're good for a little while. Let's have you work at that one. Putting up uh, um, roofs. That looks like that's up. So let's get switches flicked. And that means we need generators turned on. Oh, that didn't work. You switch that one. Generator turned on. Turn on. I have a feeling just... Putting two more generators on is not going to be enough for two more grow lights. That's 4,000 versus 6,000. Right? 2,900? Yeah. We'll have to see how well that works. Especially, oh, solar's back. So that's helping. So we're going to get that guy charged up. Um, this one, let's swap you out. Rabbit, you can do that for me. And we'll get this thing charged during the daytime. Good. Grab a meal and eat it out there in the rain. Nope. Just haul that away and go do it right. Um, these batteries are fine. I can turn this switch back off again. Inspiration, go frenzy for sea stars. Um, you turn off. Random people will go and do that. They'll run the lengths of the map to do it too. Alright, boy, this is more like what it feels like when I'm playing on my own and just just constantly working, not worried about trying to coordinate a nice little compact episode that ends in 45 minutes, just letting it run, but I really would like that marriage to happen soon. 
dare we, after a day of healing and resting, go and play with this? We're starting to get a little room built up in here to set up... Set up what? Mad animal. Set up a turret and a battery. Two turrets and then a line of people in the back. That's probably what I'm looking for. I have no idea what's in there, but mad animal, what we got? Jump to location, a beaver. Oh, that's over in the other map. Yep, beavers hit there in between episodes, and they're going to decimate this whole world over here. And I guess we'll just we'll just let them. Um, which map was this? Looking at it in regard to the bug attacks. I don't remember. Anyway, that's not our problem. So, ignore that. This is going in, so let's flick this switch. And let's flick this switch. Which means I can't steal... Which... I guess I steal batteries out of here. That's probably where I'm going to have to go. Okay. Let's reinstall you. In case we do get a chance to do this, let's go ahead and get it set up. Let's reinstall you... There. Sure. Let's conduit. Power. Down this stretch. To there. We can extension cord in. Okay. And let's grab this guy out of here, which means we'll finally get the bug invasion in the freezer as soon as we do this. Yeah, we will. Let's not. Let's grab you instead. And build copy. What do I want here? Reinstall. Right. Just outside of the explosion range. So right there. And the next one will be down in here. Probably so. In fact, I can get that put in. So the other one is here. You reinstall. Right there. Actually, you... I'm going to move you up one. So that is there. What did I just do? That's the right one. How come there's three over there now? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> um, who are you? Can't see whoever you are. Okay, well, let's try that again. You are this one. Pack is pregnant. Doesn't give me a line. That's kind of frustrating. And you. Nope. Doesn't tell me. Weird. Everything else, you go to relocate, it'll give you a line of where it's going to go. Like the statues were. So we have two statues to read soon. Um. Healing. George, where'd you go? George went to work. Now you get over here and heal. Right over there. Rest until healed. And Grandma, if I were to release you... Yep, you need to be released. Michael, you're in good shape, though. You take over. And George, you're going away. Anybody up here making kibble? Nobody is. We do have room, though. We have at least one... One space. So who's still sitting out here in the rain that needs to be hauled in? One muffalo over there. So it looks like we're... We made it. Okay. I just need somebody to do that. Faith, you are busy harvesting plants, and let's turn off the replanting. So, no sowing. No sowing. Diamond is fully healed. Good. No sowing there. And no sowing. That's it over there. This one is done. And breakdown. So that was Sea Star's breakdown of a cooler. Um, oh, didn't mean to do that one. I'll fix that. Never. And no sewing. And you. I will leave those, but the food will 
shut down. And that is it for the outside. And we've got that one and this one. All right, we'll leave the flower gardens going. All right, so that will leave more people available to sow things like trees, hopefully, and get these replanted. So what just happened? We're all going to joy up for a while. Outdoors, this this got turned on. Temperature is 78 inside. That's quite high. So these are putting out more heat than we're used to. Okay. Um, temperature in here, 69. That's where it should be. Temperature in here, you had to be turned off manually, apparently. Uh, thunder is pregnant. Let's designate power. And... Weird, you're on. Something's not right here. David's gotten food poisoning from berries. You... What's going on? Power hits the switch. Switch is on. These should be live. But that's still got a little... So you are manually turned off for some reason. Okay, then you'll you'll be working fine after that. That's the last of that stuff. Yeah, I haven't looked at animals for a little bit, so let's see what's going on here. Faith, Faith, those are all correct. That's all the dogs. Everything looks fine over here. Billy, Boomalo, Sangria, none. Okay, that's good. Now, let's find my miners. Miss B, you are digging a compact of steel. No, let's let's clear this out. Do this one, and that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. Okay, Sea Stars, you are heading to there. Now, you're heading to here. Okay, that should get both of you over there, and Alicia was the third, but she is on hauling duty right now. And kind of nice having all the haulers. So we've got, we have a lot of refueling to do now with these torches out here. So that was that's a full-time job between that and the generators. So batteries need a chance to refresh. I think we're going to have to run two banks of batteries during the winter time. I think so. Let's go ahead and get that turned on. Two and a partial banks. All right, did you guys move things over here? I'm curious. There's no construction going on, so I would think that they would get queued up, but their sleep schedules are all wonky right now. Gnarly got queued up, though. He knows what he's doing. Let's see how many you brought. All but one, right? Oh, you got half of it. Okay. So battery's going to be pulling into there. Klaus has got the battery. Eric's got more. Yep, they know what they're doing. Pull up into here. That's going to be done. Then we'll pop a door in here, or probably right in the center. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's iffy. We'll pop a door down here, shoot at it, run down. Hmm. Maybe we'll take the whole wall out. And then shoot it from a distance. I don't know. We'll have to play with that idea. Let's see how that works. I have to babysit it, though. So Klaus is playing poker. Midnight. Must be needing it. Otherwise, hour and 45 minutes into it. Oath Knight, will you... Will you, will you marry that lady? What <laughs> now? <laughs> Last thing I need is a big mech ray to drop in on me while I'm waiting for a marriage. Or we may just get to the point where we just... It's just not going to happen. We'll see. We'll see how long my voice holds out. I was really hoping. I played it for like four hours worth of game time since the last episode, thinking that that would be chipping away the majority of the time that I'd be waiting for this episode to, you know, the marriage to happen this time. These guys need to be turned off too. All right, so I think we're good on the no more sewing stuff. Um. What else is on my list? I was going to record this a day earlier. You know, on Actually, I was going to do it over the weekend. But Friday afternoon, I think I released 
episode 200 on Thursday or Friday. I think Friday morning. I'm not sure now. Friday afternoon, I had a sandwich for lunch, late lunch, like 4 in the afternoon, and bit down on a seed and felt this popping, cracking noise in my front molar next to the canine on my left side. Just the same tooth, but on the opposite side of the one that I had to have completely replaced because it split down the middle uh, a year ago. And they, they put a new post in and all that story I told you back then. Probably about the time that I started this series. Well, the same tooth on the other side cracked right down the middle. I thought, oh no. That was a four plus thousand dollar tooth to to do all that. They grafted in bone into the jaw and then let that grow and harden and they pounded a post into it and and uh, gave that six months to grow around the post and then put the tooth on. So I went in Monday morning to have him tell me the bad news and he decided that it wasn't cracked as bad as the other one. Bed's going in. So um, was able to grind it down and put a cap over it. And it's, it's amazing how they do that nowadays. Um, they take a little pen scanner, scan the tooth, then they grind it down, and then they scan the stub that's left over and put that all into the computer and it, and it sends a, uh, a blueprint out to, the, uh, out to a 3D printer and it prints a brand new tooth. And they fit it over the, the little stub of a tooth left over and and uh, make sure everything is is fitting properly then they put in some some really special wonder glue and a minute and a half later it's ready to to chew on it's amazing what they can do nowadays so i w went to the dentist at 10 o'clock and at noon i was on my way home with a new tooth a very expensive new tooth but a new tooth and they caught it just in time. The crack only went part way through it. So it didn't go all the way down into the root like the other one did. And gnarly, you gave up. Consuming a fine meal. That's probably best. Let's see who's got, who's a constructor with the very best mood right now. Klaus is perfect. Klaus, come over here. Reserved by Handy. How, Handy, how are you doing? No, Klaus is even better. I wonder. Character... Construction, 18. Klaus, you are now at an 18, and you've got a better mood. Let's have you do it. Let's see what you can pull off here. Otherwise, we've got a poor marble storage. Hmm. Got a good cloth chair. Come on, guys. A superior wooden table. We've got an excellent wooden dining chair with art by Handy. An engraving on this furniture shows George brutally mutilating... <laughs> A mega spider with quick, efficient movements. Yeah, that's that's something that uh, Oath Knight would want in his bedroom. The mega spider is covered in bowels. <laughs> the scene takes place in the middle of a town. Sorry, Grandma. The style is amateurish yet attractive with unoriginal elements. This representation refers to a close combat slaughtering of the mega spider by George with a club. Woo! Gold and Marble Royal Bed with art by Klaus. Legendary. That made up for the other ones. Growth. This furniture bears an artwork of sea stars. Green was fully healed. Packing supplies for a journey with an eager look in her eyes. A valley is visible in the distance. The work is executed in a Rococo style. The lower part of the image is dominated by a hill. This portrayal relates to sea stars departing for an adventure. Okay, we've got a dresser. Good. Got another chair. Superior. And that is it for art. Okay, so overall the room is a 11.1. Ooh, impressive 133. Far more impressive than Manuela. That's a problem. Manuela, how you doing? Are you going to break down on me? That's a must be. Where are you at? Right there. Health needs... Feeling bad, you're still enjoying your extremely impressive... Where is it? Just impressive dining room. Very impressive bedroom. Okay. So, you haven't realized yet. 
Inspired trade by Handy. Well, it'd be nice to get a trade. And I never did see if Tomislav ran out of his... Oh, he still has an Inspired Surgery. Boy, it'd be nice if a trader popped in. Well, the Honeymoon Suite is ready. Just waiting for a Honeymoon. Hmm. So, just waiting. And it's going to rain for days and days and days. But the bloodbath is gone. Except for in here. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be gone until... Uh, Diamond decides to go up there and clean the uh, clean dirt. Otherwise, we have at least two cleaners going on, and everything looks really good. I'm not seeing dirt on any of the carpets. Even the uh, the hospital rooms that were used are cleaned up. This was always dirty in here. And another auto save. I think I've got it set for like 25 minutes. We've had quite a few of those, uh, almost two hours. This is always dirty in here, and it still is. So, Diamond, where are you at right now? Cleaning rock rubble out over here. Why don't you pop over here? There we are. And work on this area to start with. Fuel. If I were to add another generator, if I needed to, I think it would be these guys. As far as the supplies available to us. I guess they'd go back in here. Yeah, I'd say so. In fact, let's preemptively do that. I popped you in there and you in there. That still gives us plenty of room to run around. Um, power? Right there. Okay, it doesn't get in the way. I can feed you in like that and like that. And it stays in the power side of the switch. Okay. Yeah, let's preemptively put that in. We were having trouble last time with one bulb. Now we have a longer greenhouse. We added more generators. We took away quite a bit of power, too. Took away, what, a wind and two solars out of this area? Or something like that. All boards given birth. What do we got going on here? Turkeys are still not edible yet. All boards given birth. A few of them have, apparently. Into the kibble zone. And we're good here. We probably should assign another person to animals. We're getting up there again. How are we doing on keeping up with the 2700? I don't know who I assigned. Michael. He probably had a breakdown on me. There's a wolf over here. No more kibble being made. We're just making meals. We're making more of these guys. Why are these guys being eaten? I mean, they're only in places like this, I guess the animals can eat them. The animals can eat them. Whatever happened over here, too? We're clear and we're ready to go. Waiting for you're being constructed. Oh, that's what's going on. Now I get it. Okay. You need to be installed over here. Then we're ready to go. And then I'm thinking we're going to take down that. But I want to babysit that. It's 1300. We haven't had a raid. Let's go play with this. Another roll call. Tomasov needs food. No, we're fine. Let's get working. Your mood is great. Boy, that party stayed with you. Huh. Um, where am I? I'm all the way over here. Let's draft and come over. And... Let's just do it this way. You're fine enough. You draft to come over too. You are building a generator. Now come on over. And rabbit draft. And we'll pick out of these some folks to do the deconstruction. Klaus, you're in good shape. Pop over to here. And Sangria, you can shoot over here. Kathra, same. We'll get the whole crowd in here. Um, Michael, you're in good shape. Over here as well. Sleeping. Alicia, pretty good. Like so. I'll rearrange people. In fact, let's consider giving us a little more space in here. Orders right there. 
Alicia, you're going to... Alicia, there you are. Come on over here and do some mining for me. And let's make it one more row of, of standing room. Um, Eric, your melee. Melee, melee. Uh, sleeping. Kaya. Draft and head over here someplace. Faith, Manuela, Radar. When you're done with that meal, you come over to here. And that'll get you into the area. Okay. Uh, good. You're ready to go. You pop over like so. George, Diamond, you come on over. You're in good shape meal-wise. Daniel is looking pretty good. Oath Knight is sound asleep and needs it. Gnarly, same thing. Okay. Let's, I'm going to sit right here and babysit this. Oh, and I need one of you, Klaus, to actually install this. So undraft and grab that. Battery is depleting slowly. Is it going to be enough? I don't know. Let's get another battery hauled. Um, actually, temporarily, let's just do that. So let's, who's near the batteries? George, you could use that joy. Shantigo, you're on your way. Let's send this battery, reinstall, right there. Conduit, there. So you're going to do that. Who's near steel? Steel is in this area. Steel is in this area. Other steel is over here. Bliss. Uninstall or undraft and put in this conduit for me. All right. <clears throat> little by little. So that's Klaus bringing that. That was. Oh, I didn't pick somebody to, do that, to bring that. So, Daniel. Perfect. I want you to undraft and come on over and put in this battery. I'm worried that, I don't know what's in here, I'm worried that two turrets may be too much for that one battery if this goes longer than I'm expecting. <clears throat> or if as soon as we pop it a raid drops in and these have to do the job. We're not going to be there. So Kathra, let's get you mining. We'll just have everybody mine while we're waiting. So get you closer in there, and no longer inspired. Okay, you can not assign to mine because you're incapable of it. Probably, probably a zero. Rabbit, can you mine? You can mine. Handy, you. I know you can mine. You pop into. The, these are assigned. Okay, you can do that one. Here's Diamond. And let's have you mine that one. Sangria, I think you can mine that one. Kaya's popping in here. And by now, one of these would have tripped off. Sea Stars, where'd you ever end up? You went to bed. No, it was Alicia. Alicia. You're almost here. Okay. A meteorite. Ooh. Bliss, I don't want you to make a duster. I want you to do your job. And then I want you to mine something. No mining available. Okay. Then you mine this one. You're not assigned to mine. You hang around while I'm looking at this meteorite. Uh, turn that off. You are dropping into our map. Good. You're going to take out a pig. And a... And a... Boom. You are limestone. Oh, I'm so glad that arrived. <laughs> Bliss. Gotcha. Okay, we're ready to go. You are a bliss. Draft and pop into here. 
Rabbit, you are consuming a fine meal. What you doing? All right, you're out of here. <clears throat> Waiting for that battery to show up. Diamond, you are cleaning rubble. Draft, and just stay right there. I'm going to really have to babysit these guys. Sangria thinks she's done. Come on over here and mine limestone. Oh, and he helped. Yes, she did. What are you? Psychic Animal Pulser. One use artifact that drives all animals in the region into a manhunting rage. Oh, yeah, I want to use that one. Who, sh who should we equip with that one? <laughs> now, you are a Psychic Shock Lance. You... One use artifact that directs psychic... Dis disturbances toward one character dropping them into a state of psychic shock for some time large risk to brain damage all right another good one to throw onto a character to use randomly so let's just kind of keep them in the area handy can you mine that one for me and who else is here that can do some mining I want a Alicia. That name just isn't here yet. You are. You're right there. Okay, good. So you're doing that. I need Handy to do that. Kathra doesn't mind. Diamond, I don't think, minds. You do. You do that one. Sangria's doing that one. Bliss. Do you mine? You're not assigned to it. Okay, you hang around. Kaya, um, let's have you mine something instead. Radar, you are deconstructing limestone wall. No, let's have you draft and just sit here. Klaus, you're installing that. Ooh, the battery got in. And Sangre, get back here. Why don't you work on that one for me? Klaus, you can work on that one for me. And who else is on their way? <laughs> Boy, I have the urge to hit save right now. Handy, come back over here and work on that one. And Alicia, you work on that one. Diamond, get back here. Ham's taking a meal away that somebody probably wanted to eat. As soon as that one goes down. Okay, let's draft all of you guys. And kind of line you up in here. Let's figure this out. Pig, what you doing? Oh, you're going to grab that. Okay. Um, actually, you know what? Let's haul all of that stuff. And that. Okay. And set all of you guys. Boy, undo you. I need to get this stuff moved out of here. So you're going to haul... Who's not eating a meal? Handy, you're going to haul. Diamond, you're going to haul. Bliss. Tomislav. Let's see how this works. Okay, Klaus. Haul. Kaya. Haul. Okay, and... Good. All of you guys... Drafting it back here. You thought you got it. No, no, no. You guys stay right where you are. And Kathra, right there. Okay, now I think we have something. Now I want Klaus to. No. To break that one down. Hmm. How best to do this? These guys are live. That's, that's a problem. Hmm. A switch takes more than just that, so I can't quickly put a switch in. And last thing I want is to have to turn these things on, but that may be my only choice. Because I don't want these guys to show all shoot Klaus as soon as something pops out of here. So we're going to take you down, we're going to take you down. Not reconnect. Power. Power. Sangria. Flick switch. And Shantigo. Flick switch. Already flicking. Okay. All right. I want Handy to take this one down. And Klaus, when you're done, you're going to take that. Oh, Eric was going to do it. Where's Eric? 
Eric is melee. Probably best not to have him out here. Okay, Sangria is sneaking away again. You stay right where you are. Alright, we're going to take those down. Shantico, get back here. Draft, come back over here. <laughs> like herding cats. And Kaya, you can construct. You take... That's reserved by Klaus. That's reserved by Eric. Let's do that. You do that one. Okay, proximity hasn't triggered all this yet. Handy, you're going here. Diamond, you're going there. Cathra there. Shantigo there. Sangria up there. Michael, there. Radar, there. Bliss, there. Kaya, there. Klaus, there. Okay, blast radius. I think we're outside of it. I hope we're outside of it. I think so. So Klaus, you are going to actually there, designate, designate, and you turn you off before a pig runs into the middle of this. You flick, you flick. Someone else is going to do that? I didn't get it. Okay. So, Klaus, you're also going to flick. Force pregnant. Power, power. Draft going here. The pigs have arrived. And we're ready to go. So, everybody, hmm. Attack there? Does that work? Kind of works. Sure. And K is moving. Space soldier, are you truly an enemy? I believe you are. What is the best chance of wounding K but not killing K? You're a space soldier. First of all, where's hold fire? Oh, fire at will. There it is. Okay, stop the firing. That's probably already enough to do the job. Nope, wasn't. Okay, we're going to stop firing. Now you're going to be firing at us. Now, how best... I guess I should have had a bunch of melee in here to, to rush. That would have been smart. If I don't do anything, why are we still aiming? You're going to shoot at us, but I'm... Wondering if the if the turrets are gonna do the job. Let's send all of you guys back into here. Probably took a hit. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Let's let the turrets do the job. Hmm. We'll see. Um, Michael took a hit. Torso and rib. Radar. Left arm, left hand. That it. That's it. Okay. With that, are the turret's going to do enough. Manhunter pack. <laughs> These guys are all exhausted and ready to end their day. <sighs> um, Alicia, go here. And Diamond. Go here. See if you guys can reach. You, have you gotten hit at all yet? You've got quite a few. The turrets will probably do the job. Manhunter pack means what? <laughs> I clicked on it, didn't I? Manhunter pack. Oh, that's the other map. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so let's just let all this happen over here. Let's see what you two can do. I want to see if it's possible just to wound. You're going there. You're going there. Will he shoot at you? Or, oh, oh, I think he will. No, he didn't. Okay, now let's go to here and here. If that helps. You just don't have a line of fire, a line of sight. 
done. Dead. Downed. Okay. Whew. All right, then. All of you guys release. And you get reinstalled. There. And you get reinstalled. Somewhere like there. Okay. And then let's move the batteries back. I'm hoping that some of these guys may, if I redraft them and undraft them, they will on their own accept the orders to go and deal with this stuff. If not, then I'll have to manually assign them. Stuff that I would normally do at the end of the episode. After after the episode. Okay, so that, that, and let's unforbid this stuff gold another 28 gold and we need to arrest so diamond actually let's have you capture right there okay and let's everybody else Anybody else going to pick up and grab and move things? These two are. So we got it out of there. Tomislav, consuming a meal while you are bringing this in. And Shantigo, you bring this one in. I got a Shantigo. Somebody else has already got it. <clears throat> that must be it. Probably someone from clear on the other side, right? Must be. Alright, so that's all being hauled in. Now I need an Alicia, where, which is where right now? Over here, refueling. Let's have you burn drugs. So I need somebody to turn this on really quick. Faith, let's have you turn this power on. So I can get Alicia to quickly turn her back around. And... Need material. Granite. Okay, what am I missing here? Burn drugs forever. I unforbid them, right? Oh, the pigs have already got them claimed. We have so many haulers that they're so excited to haul things. They're coming from all over the map just to go haul things. Okay, well, if, before the wedding, K, which is male, happens to get recruited, there was one last request that came in from Justin, who was hoping to sneak into the game before the series ended. And it's still possible, not probable, but possible. Boom Loops giving birth. Lots of little boom booms out here now. Lots of babies. So if that happens to work out just in time, then that would be fine. Um, boomalopes. What am I seeing here? That's a billy. And there's a little new boomalope going into there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven booms. And that's okay now that they're contained down in here. If they die and go boom, I might lose a pig once in a while, but that's about it. So what's been happening out over here? And Grandma... And Oath Knight, you're spending, you're spending lots of time together. You're saying hello once in a while. And colonists need treatments. Yeah, I've got to go check on them. But social, we're at 72 and 58. So Oath Knight likes Grandma more than Grandma likes Oath Knight. But that's fine. <laughs> One can carry the load. Um, Oath Knight is playing billiards. And Grandma, what's the chance? Get that finished. Before it goes to 2100. Or there. You're playing billiards too. Good. Let's see if you're at the same billiards table. You are playing pool together. That's that's the oh no, Oath Knight, what you doing? No, don't cook another meal. Oh, trying to keep them together. It's it's rough. Hello? No hellos. Okay. Otherwise, pause. We've got a Michael over here needs health 
He needs somebody to take care of him. Gnarly's doing it. Radar is down here. He needs uh, someone to take care of him, which would be like a Tomislav, who's getting a meal. Okay, let's. You're done, and you are watching television. Because Cather is taking care of Radar. Okay, that's fine. And we've got a prisoner. We do. You are. Who? Character. Depressive and lazy. We can deal with it. Doesn't have a whole lot going for him, that's for sure. But, yeah, we'll go for it. You are... I don't know who's taking care of you. Kaya is doing what? Grabbing a meal. Uh, needs... You could use some food. Let's... Let's see. Health. You're not bleeding out. You just got your nose destroyed. Nope, that's Kaya. That's Kaya. K is going to die in in uh, seven hours so I need someone to work on right now but prisoner we're going for blue medicine we're going for chat and recruit and I need somebody who's got some skill so doctoring that is George George is where is he sleeping he's not George you're over here you're making kibble and you're a long walk away Tomislav was going to do that needs you're in pretty good shape. Let's have you grab medicine and run right over here. Chatting, tending. Okay, you get that going. Sangria, going to bed. No cleaning to do. We're fine there. And is that? Radar is fully healed. Never even got worked on. Healed himself. Michael's getting close too. Got one left over on the, on the rib. Okay. Otherwise, Eric's eating. Grandma's cooking. Oath Knight's cooking. They're both spending lots of time together waiting for some kind of a major announcement, guys. Not going to happen, huh? <sighs> over here, Thomas House taken care of. Statistics. Let's look at this real quick. We've dealt with... Break down auto door. 32 major threats. 21 enemy raids in the series. Damage taken 130,000. Colonists killed zero. Colonists launched into space zero. So we didn't go that route. Playing Cassandra Classic on rough. 10 days worth of game time have gone into this so far. Our wealth of 588,000. Colony wealth in this map. And then items and buildings. Graph, there's all our major events. White is the marriage of Klaus and Sangria. We've run out of the marriage. Let's see, all doesn't show the other marriages. So it only goes back so far. What do we got here? Day 7. Oh, they're all there. All the way to day 151. So how come... Um, Tomasov... And Handy's marriage isn't showing. I guess it's just not showing all of them. Manhunter pack is here. Ooh, a pack of Manhunter polar bears have entered the area. Ooh, they will roam the region hunting for humanoid flesh. They can't pass through doors, so if you stay behind walls, you should be safe. They won't attack in inactive turrets, so turn your turrets off if you want to save them. They'll leave the area in a few days. Jump to... <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Two hours and 20 minutes into this, I can feel my voice is starting to go. Manhunter pack of polar bears. Yeah. <clears throat> That's going to be exciting. Um, Tell you what, I think I am going to have to break this into episode 201 part A and B or something like that. Maybe I'll just title this um, Almost the End of an Era. <laughs> My voice is going. Yeah, we'll make a double episode of this ending. i got to end it real soon, though. I'm leaving on Sunday for nine days. I'm going to be gone for a while. So I would love to wrap the, the series up by then. This is Tuesday night. Hopefully I can make that work. Yeah, my Friday and Saturday can be busy, but I still have Wednesday and Thursday available. Yep, let's call her here. Hopefully next episode will be The Wedding.
that's the plan, but boy, that's the challenge. And it is bedtime. Of course. Night crew, you're in trouble. <laughs> so, let's call this one finished. This has been Noble Rambler and not the final episode. I'll catch you later, folks. Bye-bye.